Hello airbrushers. The paint of the, of the moment is Viejo, the shifters, gold yellow, and burnt orange. So I'm going to plug in the compressor. It is a posh single action airbrush. Ooh, there's pipette. I've decided that my leftover paint from butterfly video um, that was in my dry palette um, could be taken out with a pipette and I just found one, so that's good. All right, um, so I'm gonna shake this a little bit because I've already shaken it some before, so I don't need to shake it that much. And I think I'm going to try one of these plastic bottles that came with the Posh airbrush and see how well that works. I've never used these before. Excuse me. The nozzle is a little bit clogged. So I'm going to use one of these tools for cleaning the airbrush to make the hole a little bigger. Doesn't seem to be clogged at all. That's oh, but it's coming out great now. I think I'm actually going to fill it up about halfway because uh, these containers are larger. And then I'm going to put in about 15 drops, about three quarters of a milliliter of thinner. This stuff is hard to pour because. It's alcohol based, so I'll get about that much. And then about seven drops or so with the flow improver. These are US Air Supply materials. I'm sorry, I ca always call it that, US Art Supply. And then when I mix it, I'm going to cover this hole and this. Kind of swirl it. And I'm going to attach my airbrush. It just press fits on there. Turn it on. It's a press fit to attach it on there. And open up the spigot a little bit. Make sure it's spraying. There it is. And then I'm just going to sweep across. And I try to do it kind of systematic so I know where I've painted and where I haven't. Well, that looks nice. So where there's glossy oil paint, it looks very iridescent. And where there's flat paint, it doesn't look very iridescent at all. So the body actually looks really good. The wing's not too much effect yet, but I'll put on another coat. I can see a little bit of iridescence there. It's looking kind of nice. Okay, let's give it another coat. Open it up a little bit more. I'm probably not going to do the body anymore and just concentrate on the wings. Definitely spraying. With Flow Improver, that's been the magic bullet. I never have any problems with my airbrush ever again since I started using 
thinner in the uh, flow improver. That's just been the secret. And I also clean my airbrush immediately. And I pretty much just do one color at a time. Maybe once I switch to a double action airbrush, I'll start using more colors. See artists on YouTube doing uh, all of their painting with double action airbrush. And I'm envious of that ability. So we'll see if it can happen for me. Really happy with how the body looks. With all the alcohol from the thinner and the flow improver, isopropyl alcohol, I'm thinking it probably dries pretty quickly. Oh yeah, definitely coming out iridescent now. Probably just needs to be a little thicker if the paint's pretty flat. On that glossy paint, man, it just popped right away. And I'm not minding using up these uh, iridescent paints because I want to start mixing my own. Single color uh, iridescents. thicker, and then I'll need to dilute with water first before I use them. So I think I'm going to call it quits from that. The first thing I'll do is clean the airbrush, then I'll pour this back into the original container. I may add a little bit of flow improver to uh, get most of it out of the container while swirling it because there's a lot of mica uh, particles, the little nano mica particles down in there or whatever they use, um, down in the bottom, and I want to get those back into the original container. Thank you, artists. Thank you, airbrushers.